We've been a Cody customer since about 2000. We, uh, when we we're looking to uh, uh, redo our RMS, our records management system, we uh, we looked at a couple of different uh, systems, and uh, Cody uh, just it's like cream. It came right to the top. Uh, we had a tragic event in Bucks County. Uh, an officer uh, was shot and killed in a hospital, and an ER tech was also shot uh, by a guy that they brought in for DUI. Uh, because the RMSs didn't talk to one another, the officer uh, at that time didn't have the knowledge that other police departments had. Um, after this tragic event, uh, Cody, just being such a great partner uh, in Bucks County, they just stepped up to the plate and said, hey, we have, a, we have a solution for you, a software solution. Information is key to any agency, whether you're you know, manufacturing widgets on a production line or you're doing public safety, you know, police, fire, and EMS, especially police department, when you're dealing with such um, critical information, such um, sometimes secretive information and investigative natures where you have to be careful how the information is shared. And one of the other beautiful things about COBRA is that the chief, the police chief, he or she will set the tone of how much information you can, can, you can drill into. So it's not, a, it's, a, it's not a one package deal. You have Cody COBRA, another police department from ABC PD can look into DE and F. It's up to the chief. They control it with Cody's working. So if you only want people to see so much, that's your call. Cody does not make that decision. It's your decision, you're the chief, you're the boss, it's your town, you're hired by those people to keep your folks safe. And Cody will work with you, as much as you want people to see, or as little. So it's, it's worked out fantastic, and all the chiefs are on board and happy about it. You know, one of the beautiful things about Cody and Cody Cobra is that a lot of software companies and a lot of RMSs, they're afraid to let other people in. Uh, Cody wants, even if you're not using their RMS, because they're, 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 they're reasonable. They know a department might not change their entire RMS system. It costs money, it costs training, it costs time. Um, it's, not, it's not feasible sometimes to do that. But Cody will work with you to embrace the Cobra system and to work with RMS, other RMS companies. Some of them may be not so likely to want to work with you, but we found in Bucks County it works. Cody's been able to reach out, convince the other companies to work with them, um, and it's just been a great initiative. And, and I think as time goes on, wherever municipality you're with, and if laws allow us to eventually uh, cross state lines, and certainly we can cross county lines with, with different things in place, the possibilities are endless with Cody Cobra. And about two years ago, um, through our uh, VAWA program, our Violence Against uh, Women initiative, uh, we were trying to gather information on domestic violence from all the police departments. The project was going nowhere and we were about ready to give back a quarter of a million dollars back to the federal government we were going to return because the project couldn't, couldn't, couldn't work. And then at a meeting, we kind of just were our last hope and uh, I had said, what about Cody Cobra? I mean, we're kind of doing it with eight police departments. It sounds like it would be a perfect match for Cody Cobra. but. Cody Cobra at that time, as far as we know, only worked within their own RMS. But now we've got all the RMS systems on board and uh, we have uh, 28 police departments. There's one RMS we're still trying to get on board, but the large amount of police departments and the population and the amount of police officers are now, are now hooked into Cody Cobra. And here we are uh, a year later operational and we didn't return the money to the federal government, which is a good thing. It's now going to the people of Bucks County to um, to look at domestic violence, to protect officers, and to share information. And, and certainly we know the importance, we learned that lesson uh, on 9-11, the sharing of information. Four guys learning to fly planes on a field in Florida. If only, you know, they would have had Cody Cobra, who knows what history would have changed. There's all kinds of initiatives, us as, as chiefs and law enforcement executives you have, whether it's, whether it's body cameras, or it's domestic violence, or it's DNA databasing, or it's narcotics info, or it's terrorism. The nice thing about Cody is they'll work with any other company out there, any other group that you could collect that data. Uh, Cody Cobra, in, in the domestic violence initiative, we put in things there for our DNA project. But specifically for VAWA, the Violence Against Women uh, project, we needed to collect information on domestics to do comparisons and to do studies to see what women were at what potentially could be victims of violence or homicide because most folks that are killed in domestic situations it's not the first time we've arrived at the scene and people move they move from apartments they move from townhomes they move from towns and from homes so this enables you to share information so somebody could have moved into Ben Salem and they're just living there for the first two months and we have one or two domestics 
oh, all right, it's one or two domestics. But they may have just came from another town where they just had a dozen domestics. That's a person that needs to be on our radar. That's a woman we need to protect. That's a woman we need to get there quickly and give them all, give her all the proper tools in her toolbox to make the best decisions she can with her life um, to decide whether or not to get out of that relationship or to stay and to make sure she's protected. Without COBRA in place, somebody would just pick up and move and it would be like starting over. And you know what? The next call might be the last. And COBRA saves lives. There's no doubt about it. And as we start to get this initiative rolling and we start to see some more years under our belt working with COBRA countywide, you're going to see a real impact, not just on records management sharing, but what we took this job for, and that's life saving and saving lives and protecting people. Data sharing is important, and I would love to see Cody Cobra go statewide across this Commonwealth, this great Commonwealth of ours. We have over 1,200 police departments in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, a lot of police departments, most of which, 50% of them, have less than uh, 10 officers, and they have vital information that could be effective to cities like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and Berks County and Bucks County and Montgomery County and Allegheny County. So the 12 counties that are currently using the COBRA system in Pennsylvania, could you imagine if we could share that information at 35 million records? 35 million records at our fingertips to be able to look at different things and not just for whether domestic violence but narcotics, robberies, burglaries, different crime trends. You know, intelligence-led policing is is what's the future. That's, you know, it's not just flooding the, co the streets with cops. It's using intelligence and computers and, and analyzing crime and data. And Cody Cobra is the heart of that. That's what makes it pump. Without that sharing of information, you're not going to be able to do all that forensic analysis and all that uh, crime analysis and that sharing of information. So you get these 12 counties and then every county, the 50 some odd counties across this great commonwealth, you get everybody on board with Cody Cobra, we will set the stage for the country and people will want to be like the other 49 states will wish they were Pennsylvania.